Legend of Total War here with turn 6 of the Teutonic Hot Seat campaign uh, as Novgorod. Okay, yes, I will adopt you, but just hold on a second, we've got some messages here. So Lithuania was planning on getting Riga, but if you can take the settlements to the left of Riga. Uh, well, okay, so, hang on, hang on, hang on. One message at a time. Now, I've chatted to Pixelated Apollo over Steam, and I, I, was, I thought we had a game plan. The plan I thought was... And we might have actually chatted after he'd had his turn and sent me the message. But the plan, as far as what I'm aware, was I took the north, those are mine. He takes the west. The west are of greater value anyway. The problem is, that's where all of his forces are. However, I'll take the north, and then when I'm done with them, I'll send forces over to assist him in, in uh, taking down the, uh, the, the Teutonic Order. Now, if we look at this, military-wise, I'm number six. Not number one as I usually am, but then again, it's only turn six. The Teutonic Order, despite their their defeat over here, they are still the strongest faction. I'm overall number one now, probably because I'm probably the biggest. Anyway, I'm going to address this one first. So I need to send a message to Lithuania. I thought the north was mine. I've laid my claim on Riga, but take what, eh. it looks weird because the, the W is there and then it says hater, but whatever, hang on, whatever you want, um, I can assist you in the west. When the north, ah, oh, whatever, north has fallen. Okay. Okay, then I'll be seeing you soon. XX. I think that's a, a polite message. I'm not going to take that as as a as an insult. Why would I? Um, because he's an Englishman, I think. I'll put on a pot of tea. Hope you don't mind the blood stains. Okay, and Denmark, send me my money, please. Spoken like a true banker. Of course I'm sending you your money. So Denmark... Diplomat carrying your gold is on his way. Feel free to um, send someone to meet fuck him halfway. He's at where is he? Oh god, how do I spell Connorsburg? He's at Poland. No, 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 no. Kondigsberg. Is that right? Yep. Shit. Alright, so that's all those messages dealt with. Uh, candidate for adoption. It's good to see that there's a bit more communication going on in this campaign than there was previously in the Crusades campaign. The Crusades campaign, people just go silent sometimes. Um, hence why there's a lot of people that are confused as to why things went down as the way they did. Anyway, um, I'm skeptic. I think that, um, that the Mongols, that's Lionheart, have a secret alliance with the, uh, with the Teutonic Order. And that he might attack me soon. But that being said, he doesn't really have the strength to do it. At least as far as what I can see out here. So I've trained a spy. Sorry over here and I just want them keeping an eye on the area and we'll train more spies because you really can't ever have too many this spy here I'm gonna send him try and send him further west because I tr um, we can try to take this with spies uh, oh, hang on let's deal with this first candidate for adoption I want him at Reval I need to get his benefactor who's 
this guy. Need him here first on foreign territory. Change it to the capital. Plonk him in. And then he can go home. Right, so that's all those messages dealt with. Now, we can try and get these spies into Riga, but it doesn't work. I can get it to about 51%. Nope, there he died. Get to about 51% chance of opening, and um, it still doesn't open the gates. Which is unfortunate, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter that much. So, oh, great, I gotta listen to this every time I quick save, oh, quick load. Um, but what we can do here is try and get him a trait. Nope, we didn't get the trait. And it's important that we do try and get these traits, because obviously the better these spies are, the less chances of them getting assassinated. And, um, well, the more chances of them actually being useful. Because I assume that at some point in time, assassins will be coming for me. No, it didn't happen again. That's a bit unlucky. We've got plenty of time on this campaign, on this turn. There's not much going on. I think there's one very small battle that needs to be done. Come on. Shh, fucking thing. So obviously we're just we're not trying to get inside the, the city. Well, I would like to, but I don't think it will. Fifty one percent didn't open it with two spies. I'll have to wait till next turn till my third spies get there, or just besiege it, which yes. is very much an option because there's not much in the way of resistance in this area. Fucking hell. Bloody unlucky. This is supposed to be get done on the first fucking try. Don't you hate it when that happens? Test something out, you get it right on the first try, and then suddenly you come back to it, like, okay, let's do this for real now. And then... Doesn't fucking ever bloody fucking happen. Another thing is, we definitely do need to besiege this, because you can see that the public order was like 0%. It runs the risk of it turning rebel. Um, if it turns rebel, then obviously there's more resistance to have to deal with. So we need to besiege it, because it can't revolt. There we go, that's what I needed. And then you're in next. And of course, now we've got to go through your bloody bullshit. I hope the other players are training spies, because I'm pretty sure I proved how useful they were in the Crusades campaign. Oh, come on. Because if we didn't do this save and reload stuff with the spies, nobody would ever take any settlements. It would never happen. And everyone would just stagnate for a hundred fucking turns, and the campaign would be boring. This allows everyone to be aggressive. Come on, three times in a row. Very unlucky. You might think, well, why don't you just use artillery? Well, artillery makes your armies really slow, and to be honest, destroys the fucking settlement. Makes you have to pay more to fix it up. 51% there, that's what I was looking for. So, trade increase inconspicuous, and adaptation agent. Okay. And with that, we cannot open the gates. Yep, but I will keep this settlement besieged. Okay, we've got guys over here. So, you'll need to come further out this way. What I need to do is just spy on my ally here. Not for any particular reason other than just experience. Good to gain some traits because we want our spies to be as good as possible. Doesn't doesn't harm Lithuania in any way, so not a problem. Okay, so we can send him over there. But I kind of want to send... Let's see, if we, we can recruit some Kazakhs here. Recruit them, and that way we can... If you want to come over here... Hang on, let me just check. Yeah, it's okay. Because I'm, I'm not at all concerned about Lithuania betraying me. If they do, I think it would be to their detriment. I don't think he's strong enough to take me on. Unless, of course, he used this army to attack. But, of course, that would give him some severe... Um, diplomatic penalties. 
if he did that. Um, but if anyone had a chance of getting me right now, it's this army right here. But I lay my claim on this. If um, We'll see what happens. Now, this guy here, he is a crap assassin. But we've got a bunch of rebels down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him train by assassinating a whole bunch of rebel captains. Now, time to utilize this army here and take the settlement. Now this guy here we could send down, but I want to prepare a force for Astrally. Yeah, it'll be fine. Send him down. Need to prevent a force to go to Finland before Norway, uh, Norway. Norway does, or Denmark. Uh, Denmark I don't think he's going to. I think he's going to Gotland, which is fine. Let him go there. I mean, I, I'd like that territory. It looks like a good settlement. But to be honest, I, I gave uh, the Danes a bit of a raw hand on that one. So I think he, he's earned a bit of a paradise away from home. That one over there. I'd, I'm not allowed to set foot over there as per our agreements with the Denmark with the Danes. All right, now let's go take these guys down. I've got no agreements or anything with the uh, the Teutonic Order. I did have a trade agreement, but trade agreements can be cancelled. Whatever, they're, they're not a non-aggression pack there. You don't get any dishonor by breaking them or anything like that. It's just trade when you can, trade when you... Well, don't trade when you don't want to. Okay, now what we need to do... Firstly, just pull back a little bit. I'm going to have my horse archers here. Because you can come up the side here, and there's a bit of high ground. You can use that high ground to actually shoot over. onto them. But you don't want to get too close to these towers at the same time, so you've got to be careful in where you're putting the men. Put them a little bit closer, that'd be great. Okay, they should be safe from those towers right there. And in the perfect spot. So, you stop shooting, and then... What's going on? Are they coming out to fight? Send these guys over there to fight them. No, no. Doesn't want to. That's okay, so it's a bit of dicking around. What are you guys doing? Don't get too close over this way. Ah, oh, look at that. They're uh, they're pulling back. It's okay. Managed to kill 6%. Alright, now we are got to bash down this gate. Thing is, auto resolve yielded actually quite a good result. It gave me 22 casualties, which really isn't much. So I want to try and do better than that. Because obviously we clearly outpower these guys. Okay, there's no reason not to get up a little bit closer. Because we haven't even done any damage to it. These catapults are not accurate. However, the closer we get, the more accurate they become. Now, if these guys take a bit of damage, it's not a big deal because obviously they recover. Okay. There we go. Now we're in business. The gates are down. All right. Next step. Let's get the cavalry in. The infantry is only there ever as a last resort, and to leave garrisons behind, I suppose. What I need to be doing is trying to skirmish them as much as possible before sending in my generals, I suppose, to uh, finish them off. And the thing is, those those connection things, they're fast, they're fairly fast moving, so got to be careful. Get one shot and then get out of there. Oh, they didn't take the shot. Come on, get out of there. Pathfinding fuck, come on, move it. Move it, you shit. Ah, oh, you dumb fuck. It's only one man, it's not a big deal at this stage. Come on, you guys need to get over here. Need assistance. What are they doing? 
Well, whatever they're doing, I want to keep shooting them. Sending guys over this way, are they? Not today, you're not. Okay, that does not bother me in the slightest. For my, my general. He'll take that down, no problem. Now, the order militia, those are some guys we need to shoot. Come on, I need you to completely surround them. So that if they break, they've got nowhere to go. Okay, stop shooting. You're wasting your ammo. Okay, cut this guy off. Didn't quite do it. That's fine, he's of no threat now. Shoot them up a little bit. There's no excuse for that guy dying, what an idiot. Alright, you're done, you can leave. Next up, more Kazakhs. These guys aren't the best horse archers, I certainly prefer Turkish ones, but... Or even, Mon especially Mongolian ones, jeez, they're good. Well, we'll see. I'm a little bit skeptical of coming this close, because these guys obviously didn't make it out of there last time. Well, those guys didn't, before they got someone killed. So, got to get moving a little bit early. See, they did it fine this time. Why couldn't they have done that last time? I don't think this guy here is of any real threat. Yep, he's dead. Shit, 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 move it. Oh, they're wavering. So if they get even close, they'll they'll break anyway. Oh, shit. Oh, right. Because it's uh, up against the human faction. Didn't get a chance to continue to fight it. But that's fine. So we lost essentially just one man on that. It says three, but of course, General's bodyguard don't really count. And we need to sack this. No buildings get destroyed. Get a little bit of money, only kill a few people. Uh, keep the taxes nice and high, because I need the money. So it's actually worth quite a bit for me. But we have to leave someone behind. Let's have a look here. Now I'm training a, uh, a ship here, which should be able to come over here, pick those artillery up, land them over here. The only concern is there are enemy ships there. I mean, I could also send these guys over there. Well, just this general, I suppose. Oh, and, and these guys to besiege it. The only problem is there are some guys over here that I'm concerned that he could pick up, send them over here. So, probably don't want to do that. These guys might, they, they should be able to make it next turn. We'll just stay inside the city, keep the taxes nice and high. And, uh, how orthodox is this? It's not very. It's not a big deal though. Okay, so, that's pretty much all the battles I can do this turn. Basically, now it's just a matter of um, buildings. Now, I think there's a settlement over here that can be upgraded. Yep, this one over here, 1,200. Yeah, that sounds like a good investment. Let's do that. Just keep that as it is. Most settlements seem to be building stuff. Alright, over here. I don't think I built anything here last turn. Which is fine. Um, geez, we get some crap infantry. These are really shit. So let's have a look at our building browser. Barracks, you get 
woodsman, spearman, and then at the fortress level, dismounted Drusina. Okay, well, what about the castle? What do we get out of that? From the citadel, we get Boyar, Sons, Kazakhs. This is really all cavalry. Not really much in regard to uh, infantry at all. So, I mean, I, I like cavalry, don't get me wrong, but at least the Turks had some good infantry. Well, they do have some excellent... You know, like they've got Ottoman infantry, they've got Janissaries. Or Yenissaries, whoever they're fucking pronounced. So, some good units. Alright, uh, most of these settlements are already building something. Okay, Reval. Could be a good settlement if we invest in it. No corruption here, that's great. What does that provide? Trade fleets too. We don't really need any trade fleets right now. Because we've got... We don't really have any ports to trade with. So that's probably not a high priority. What we need to do is grow this settlement. Because population... 6,000, that's pretty good. Income, in comes that. Why is there so much fear here? I didn't exterminate it. I sacked it last turn. So there's only 5% fear here. Why are they absolutely terrified? Well, I don't know. Doesn't matter. If they want to stay terrified, that's up to them. I'll just purchase some cheap shit. Land clearance, because that'll... Increased population growth. Uh, then again, what about Town Guard? That'll take three turns. Get us some different kinds of militia. Now I'll go with that instead. Well, what about roads? No, no, no. Go with that. Need population growth. Uh, there's no point trading with shit towns nearby. We need these settlements to grow first. Uh, Dunneberg. It's not very orthodox. I'll go with that. I don't think there's anything else we can build. Oh, hang on. Where, where the hell is this? Um, that's not really a high priority. From stables, we can get more Kazakhs. Not a huge priority. Maybe communal... F oh, hang on. We could upgrade it to castle if we had the money, but that can wait. What if we were to get that? To increase population growth. Is there anything else that needs building? I mean, there's this here. We could convert it to a castle if we had the money, but... No, oh, here we could purchase that. Upgrade it. Right. Would that be a better investment? Because that reduces corruption. Takes two turns. No, I am think I'm going to go with this. Hard to make up my mind, huh? Alright, so that leads me with 3,000, oh sorry, 4,000 income for the next turn, roughly. Probably a little bit less than that, because I am recruiting a unit over here. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I can do. I think I got everything covered. So, we got this besieged. Um, did I send a message to Lithuania? I'm pretty sure I did. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Let's see here. Alright, well, let's just go through the lists. Oh, shit. Yep. All good. Um, yep, you just need to... S uh, hang on, what I should probably be doing with them is sending them to Smolensk. Because... If, for example, Lionheart hits here with artillery or something, I don't want these guys being here. I want them in Smolensk. So if we just let... Oh man, we've got mercenaries here. Well, they're not that expensive upkeep. But just leave behind one lot of woodsmen. Because these are, these are decent troops. They don't all get back. Alright, just leave all the infantry. All the cavalry come back over here. And if they all get defeated, it's not such a big deal. Plus we've left an agent there. I have more agents training, right? So we've got one here. Do we have another one here? No. That's probably too far away. Probably be quicker if we purchase all my spies that we need down south from here. Well, there's all my military forces used up. Nothing else to do. Right, so cities have already checked all that. Agents, let's have a look. So start with these guys. We got one there, one there. All good. They're all doing stuff. Yep, you're on the way. Moving. You're whatever. 
Got another assassin here doing nothing. Actually, this assassin here, let's send him over here as well to uh, to train him up because I don't. He's just useless over here. Spy, 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 spy. That's it. There's nothing else I can do. I've used up all my ammunition and oh, not ammunition. Uh, my money. Laid claim to all the shit that I want. So hopefully I'll be able to take Riga next turn. One way or another. The thing is. Um, Pixelated Apollo will still be able to besiege the settlement because we're allies. But obviously I'll have my siege equipment there. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I made it clear to him over Steam that I was going to take this settlement this, well, this turn or the next. You know, he really, really does need to concentrate over here. This is, this is going to be hard to take down. Unless, by some fortune, all of uh, Warrior of Sparta's forces just fall over dead. Uh, but then again... Cutting him off by his finances probably will help to some degree. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. So anyway, guys, like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out everyone else's channel. Uh, links are in the description. And uh, don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.